The average person sleeps for 25 years of their life. So if you live till you're 75 years old, that's a third of your life you'll have spent asleep. How amazing is that? Wow. That's amazing. Many people may feel anxious hearing that statistic, but the way to look at it is if you didn't sleep for 25 years, then you wouldn't be able to have 50 years of a great productive life. My name is Sarah Jeffries. I'm a registered nurse with experience in ER education and sleep therapy. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you the reasons why we need to get a good night's sleep and what you could potentially increase your risk of getting if you don't get a good night's sleep. So 2000 years ago, one of the most prominent medical researchers, Galen, proposed that while we're awake, our brain's motive force, its juice, would flow out to all other parts of the body. And he thought that when we were asleep, all of the moisture that filled up the rest of the body would come rushing back, rehydrating the brain and refreshing the mind. Now, that sounds completely ridiculous to us now, but Galen was simply trying to explain something about sleep that we all deal with every day. When you sleep, it clears your mind, and when you don't sleep, it leaves your mind feeling cloudy. Now, we found that sleep is a sophisticated design for some of the brain's most basic needs, which include the brain's intense electrical activity. This uses up a lot of the body's energy supply, and so how does the body keep up with this demand? Well, it uses the circulatory system, which is responsible for the delivery of oxygen to every corner of the body. Now this circulatory system, the blood vessels, form a complex network that fills the entire brain volume. They start at the surface of the brain and then they dive down into the tissue itself and then they spread out and this supplies the nutrients and oxygens to each and every cell in the brain. Now just as every cell requires nutrients to fuel it, every cell also produces a waste as a byproduct and the clearance of that waste is the second basic problem that the brain has to solve. Now the rest of the body uses the lymphatic system which is a whole separate network of vessels that extends through the body to help clean up waste products, reduce inflammation. It also helps muscle recovery. Check out Bodyology Canoga Park for more info on this. I'll include the link below. They actually have a machine that helps your body to recuperate even more benefits of lymphatic drainage, such as muscle recovery, like I said, reducing inflammation, losing weight. But going back to the brain, well, the brain is an intensely active organ and therefore has a lot of waste product. So it needs to get rid of all of this. And scientists discovered that this is one of the functions of CSF, your cerebral spinal fluid. The brain is so intensely packed and many think that the fluid is just on the outside to cushion and protect the brain. But this large pool of clean, clear fluid doesn't just randomly pool into the deep tissues of the brain to clean up. What researchers found absolutely blew them away. But what's interesting is that the fluid and the waste from inside of the brain doesn't just percolate their way randomly out. Instead, there's a specialized network of plumbing that organizes and facilitates this process. So the fluid on the outside of the brain during sleep doesn't stay there. Instead, it's pumped back in through the brain and then it's flushed away, helping to clear away the waste products from the spaces between the brain cells. Now this is such an evolutionary clever design system because the brain is so tightly packed. And what's amazing that scientists found when they studied the brain of sleeping mice, they saw that the brain cells also actually shrink as a way to create extra space for the CSF to come back in, do its cleaning job of flushing out the old toxins from the day. And this is all done when we're asleep. Hence the reason if we don't sleep well, we haven't given our body the time it needs to do the cleanup, which makes us feel all cloudy and disorganized. It's because your brain is still a mess in there. But what actually needs to be cleaned up? Well, one of the waste byproducts that researchers focused on was amyloid beta, and this is a protein made by the brain during the day. And the study showed that lack of sleep and Alzheimer's sufferers are more closely linked than what was thought. And this is due to the buildup of that protein amyloid beta that is cleared up during sleep. And it's found in clumps linked together in the brain of Alzheimer's sufferers. Now, this is just one of the recent discoveries of many that show just how important sleep is and the important functions that happen to keep our brain clear and working well. If you want to know why we feel sleepy between one and four, click here where I explain exactly why.